In Creole Parametric, you can use show model annotations to show various different details on your drawing. In a previous video, I showed how to use that for getting different dimensions on the drawing. In this video, we will take a look at getting your geometric tolerances, datum feature symbols, and axes to show up. To access the command again, you go to the annotate tab and then choose show model annotations. But before I even do that, I'm going to turn on my tolerance display for the drawing. And one thing to be aware of is that there is a config.pro option for tall display. If you go to file options configuration editor, you can find it in here. And so for example, if I scroll down, here we have tall display. Right now that is set to no for the config.pro options, but be aware that the config.pro option for tall display controls your models, your parts, and your assemblies. For your drawings, the tolerance display is controlled by a drawing detail option. And the way that you get to the drawing detail options is that you can go to file and then prepare and drawing properties and then hit the blue change hyperlink to the right of detail options. This is a command that I use so often in a drawing detail options that I've added the drawing properties command to my quick access toolbar. I've got it right up over here and so that way I can get to it with one click and then hit the change button. And here are all the different options in here for controlling the display of your details on the drawing. And if I scroll down to the bottom, it's probably a quicker way of getting to tall display. Right now, it is set to the default value of no. Let me change that to yes, and then add change, apply and close, and close out of here. And I'm gonna zoom in and zoom out real quick in order to repaint the screen. And you can see that a number of my different dimensions on here that I'd previously shown are now showing up as basic dimensions. I've got another dimension over here that has its plus minus tolerances being displayed in here. Now let's take a look at getting the different datum feature symbols. Let me show you my model that I am using. And I'm a big advocate of model-based definition, so I have of various different combination states showing up in here. I've got one for my set datums. And so here you can see my A datum, uh, B datum, and C datum feature symbols. I also have a few different combination states, starting with the number seven for my different details. Seven A I use for some overall dimensions in this part. I've got seven B for detailing the tabs over here. You can see that I've got a geometric tolerance associated with this particular diameter dimension and I've got a surface profile. The last one that I've created so far is 7C for annotating the different holes in here. You can see that I have a couple of different dimensions over here that have geometric tolerances and I'll show you how to get those to show up on the drawing. So let's go back to the drawing and take a look at how to do this. So first off, let's go to the show model annotations command. Right now I'm on the dimensions tab. Let's go to the geometric tolerances tab. And I'm gonna start off by selecting, say this view over here. I think this view is one that's good for showing some of the different details in here. And oh, there's the one for the dimension. Let's check that one to be displayed. Let's see, uh, I think I do want A to show up in this particular view, so let's go ahead and select it. And I don't want B to show up in this view. I do like C showing up in this view, so let's select that one as well. So that's three of them that I've got so far. Let's hit the apply button and then I can cancel out of here and then I can adjust these and say, hey, let's grab this one and maybe I want to drag it out over here. And this one is good over here or you can click on it and you can grab where it's attached on here and then adjust the positioning of the geometric tolerance and the datum feature symbol that has the plunger attached to it. So that's good for getting a couple of them to show up. Uh, let's see for the B datum feature symbol, let's go to geometric tolerance. It's, oops, not geometric tolerance, let's go to show model annotations and I'm still on the geometric tolerances tab. Let's select this view over here and I say, hey, yep, this is a good one to show in 
this particular view. So that way I've got my A, B, and C located in here. Uh, let me hit the apply button. Let's pick this view over here. This is the one that I like for having the surface profile tolerance in there as well. Uh, let's just click OK for now. And I like to do this, you know, just things as I'm going along over here. Let's see, let's grab this and maybe over here, try to avoid things overlapping. And same thing over here. Let's reposition. Uh, let's see. So that is good. So I've got, again, my datum feature symbols showing up on here. And I have the positional geometric tolerances for the different hole diameters. Since they're attached to the hole diameters, I need to show the hole diameters. So let's go back to show model annotations. This time I will go to the dimension tab and I'm just going to select the feature out of the model tree just so I don't get a ton of dimensions showing up in this view. I like both of them. Let's select all and then click the OK button. And this one, let me click on the dimension and then choose to, let's see, not move to view. Where's the flip text? Let me just grab this. And let's see in here. There we go. That's the flip text. That looks a lot better. Just get it in here. I hate my crossing lines crossing over. I also need to flip the arrows. I always forget what these different commands are, so I always have to pause my mouse over them in order to get them to show up. Same thing for this one over here. Again, use the different tool tips. I just don't have time for memorizing all the different dimensions or different icons. All right, so that's good. I've got all my different geometric tolerances that I want to show up. Let's take a look at the last tab in here and the last tab is the one that looks like the datum feature symbols if you go to the drop down over here you could choose to show all then you have these choices here for set datum planes and set datum axes these are for the old 1994 style stuff if you try to use set datum planes or set datum axes for the way that you show them under the 2009 standard uh, you're not going to be able to show them here's set datum targets i showed how you use that in a, another video but what you do have in here is axes and you can use the axes command for showing the dimensions in or excuse me for showing the arrows in the different views that you want to and i can say hey you know what i want to show that one and not that one let me make sure i'm getting the right one this one over here and this one over here this one over here and this one over here and then click the OK button. And so that way I've got them showing up on the computer screen. You can see how big they're appearing on the screen. You can manually drag them to resize them if you want to. There are also some drawing detail options that you can use for controlling how big they appear beyond the actual references themselves. So in that way we have some of these different axes showing up on the computer screen. I also want to show you that for sheet metal you can use that for showing your uh bend axes what are they called i forget let's go to a sheet metal part that i've got over here and i can use the icon in the in graphics toolbar to go to the flat pattern preview and there we can see what the flat pattern looks like you can resize the accessory window and to the right, you have a couple different icons in here. This one allows you to create a family table instance. I don't like creating family table instances of the flattened version. Let's use the create representation option. And here it calls it the flat rep. I'm fine with that name for it. And I can hit the create button. And so that way it is creating a simplified rep. If I go to the view manager and then the simplified rep tab, you can see that here we can easily just double click to get to the flattened rep. Let's go back to the master rep over here. Let's take a look at creating a drawing of this and we'll hit the new button, change the option to drawing. And this is just my sheet metal demo drawing. Let me not use a default template. I am just going to use a format and I'll use my standard format over here. 
Let's use the master rep of the model for the main view. And I'll use sheet one, fill in a parameter like for my name. And I'm not just gonna hit enter to bypass all the other parameters that it wants to fill in in some different table cells. All right, let's create a general view, no combined state and locate it about over here. And I'm not gonna bother changing the orientation for this one. Let's just click the OK button out of here to create this view, which is sort of like an ISO view. Let me turn on my turn off a bunch of my different datums in here. Uh, for now, I'll leave axes displayed. Normally, I would control that with a layer, but for the sake of this demo, I'm not going to. All right, for creating different drawing views of the flat state, we're going to add the flat version to the model. So I'll choose Drawing Models, Add Model and let me choose the part. And this time I'm going to choose the flat rep that we created. Let's click the open button out of there. That's good, now it is the active representation. So when I create any drawing views, I'm going to be creating drawing views of the flattened version. And let's accept that over there, just click the OK button. And now when I go to annotate and show model annotations, let's go to the last tab over here. If I choose axes and then pick this different view, there you can see the axes for the different holes that appear in there, plus the axes for the bends in the flattened state. Let's use select all and then click okay. And now we've got those displayed in the drawing view. So that's how you can use show model annotations for your geometric tolerances, your datum feature symbols, and your axes. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creolewindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.